Good afternoon, guys. Chrissy Vane here. I am a spiritual teacher. I'm a professional wrestler, I'm a former television model, and overall jack of all trades. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a full moon reading. I don't know about you guys, but I have been whipped this week. My energy has been just... I've been asked to heal quite a bit this week in my aesthetics room. I've had quite a few uh, issues arise and um, need some healing inside the room. And I've been super busy as well. Virgo energy is get shit done. That's what the full moon is in on the 18th. So if you're tuning into that Virgo energy and want to use it to your advantage, you can turn into like your inner like critic, uh, who the person is that picks things apart in your head. That's Virgo. However, they get things done and they get things done really, really, really well. And they get things done really, really, really thoroughly. Um, Virgo is also the healer and uh, the zodiac sign in charge of natural medicine. So you can also you know, there may be some of you trying to come off of certain like depression, anxiety, uh, medicines. You may be looking into like St. John's wort or, um, Ashkawanda or I don't know. I've been thinking about chlorophyll a lot this week for some reason, like feeling like I needed the green from chlorophyll. So Virgo is the healer. Virgo is the natural healer, the one that figures out how to heal themselves. No one can do this for you. You can only do it for yourself. Um, I wanted to get on here. I haven't done a collective reading in a while. I think we did one a few new moons ago, but I wanted to get on here and do a collective reading for the whole uh, because I like to do that sometimes. I also take private sessions over Zoom um, where you can get a reading with me. Um, how I do my readings is I am practical Capricorn. Um, I like to only go a few weeks out to a month out and then we kind of like take home homework. So I'm reading today out of the Sacred Rebels deck because it feels like there's a lot. Of, so I'll just kind of tell you what collectively I'm feeling. It feels like there is a lot of people right now that are trying to break free from regularity, from following um, a path that someone else laid out in front of them and they are trying to be brave and break free and go into their own path and that may feel like a struggle when I started on my spiritual journey like 15 or 16 years ago everything felt like a struggle healing is not easy healing is hard so if you're hitting like little hiccups along the way don't worry so if you're newly on your healing journey or newly on your spiritual journey and you are feeling like you're hitting like little hiccup, little hiccup, little hiccup, do not worry. That is the path. That is what is going to continue to happen from now until the day that you leave this earth plane. Uh, with the full moon being in Virgo this week, natural health is um, spotlighted right now, being meticulous, uh, looking over things, um, very detail oriented and making a plan. Virgo always has a plan and sometimes it can be a little critical, uh, but that's okay because Virgo gets shit done. Like if I want good advice on how to get stuff done, guess what I do? I call my Virgo friends. Um, my child is also a Virgo, so I live with that energy and know what it's like because he won't even let me walk in the front door without fixing the doormat and making sure it's perfectly and completely straight. So like I said, I'm going to read out of the Sacred, Sacred Rebels deck. It's my favorite. I feel like there's a lot of people right now sort of rebelling and trying to find their own unique individual path. Uh, which can sometimes feel like it takes a lot of bravery and it can sometimes feel like mm, you're the only one who is doing that and maybe no one else in your friend group is doing that. That's part of the spiritual journey in general is chapters and waves of your life. People come in that are meant for you at that time. That doesn't mean that those people have to stay there forever. Um, I need a lot of solitude personally, especially during times like this where they're so, you know, a little bit chaotic. Like I need a lot of private time. Um, I'm hiding in my car right now <laughs> from life um, so that I could do this video, but I'm personally someone who needs a lot of um, alone time and a lot of quiet time because that's the way that I integrate. Um, I get really buzzed up and love being around people, total extrovert. Uh, 
80% of the time, but then that other 20% of the time, I really, really need to go inward. I need to be by myself. I need to go on my nature walks. I need to be by water. Uh, Virgo, again, is natural healing. Uh, cycles being meticulous in everything that you do, everything that you're looking over, dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's. Um, okay, so let's see what I missed that the deck, well, here goes one, just flew out at me. Um, going against the grain. So what did I say earlier? I said that there are some of you right now that are about to start rocking the boat in your life, in your family's life, um, just in general because you're tired. You're tired of not being who you are and being authentically you. It's exhausting to try to make other people happy. So, you know, be you. Be oh, snap. I just went back and looked at the other two slides and they're like uh, dead on. So let's pull one more card, a little bit of homework, a little bit of things to focus on during this Virgo full moon that we have coming up on the 18th. And for those of you that are about to rebel out and starting to create the path that you want and the life that you want. And listen, I'm going to say it. I'll say it a million times. Healing is not easy. Breaking out into your own path is not easy. Um, so kudos to you for doing so. All right, let's do one more card and then that will be good probably for the next two to four weeks until I decide to get back on here and do another one. Let's see, what does the collective need to know? Didn't flip out at me this time. Oh, oh God, it's gonna give me chills. Collaborations. Find people like yourself that you resonate with and you vibe with and you guys can talk about the sun, the moon, and the stars and whatever it is that you're interested in. So right now our soul tribes are finding each other in ways that we have not found each other before. Um, I think oftentimes the algorithm angels work uh, through our phones and our laptops to bring us to people, places, things uh, that will sort of take us to the next part of our journey. So a huge part of I think the next couple of years as we're coming into the Aquarian 5D energy and leaving the Piscean energy, which was sort of industrial, um, we are going into that Aquarian energy long term and Aquarius are about humanity, about what's good for the whole. Um, working together, finding ways to co-create together. Like you have your strength, I have my strength. Let's figure out a way to do something really special together. Oh, this is like so dead. I'm like this is like even hitting me. Like okay, yes, this is it. Um, it's time to find people that you resonate with, and it's time to drop people that are not on your level anymore because what this has done in the past couple of years is it has cracked humanity open um, either in a good way or a bad way. So you're either like in fuck it mode right now where you're like, I'm just going to do me. I'm going to figure out what makes me happy um, and I'm just going to go off course. Uh, or you're like, in the depths of despair right now because you've let the last few years like completely get to you and completely drag you down. So there's sort of like a couple of timelines right now. However, you can always change your timeline. You can always change your timeline. And let me tell you, if you have people around you that are bringing you down, are not on your level, um, don't have the same visions, dreams, aspirations as you, or they don't get you, or you feel some type of way when you're around them, listen, it's time to find your tribe. So, I mean, there's tons of meetup groups. There's, you know, the internet is a great way to meet people. It's time to get out there and find your tribe and start, listen, I'm inspired. I'm gonna pull another one because the collaborative dreaming thing, I felt like a lone wolf a lot of my life. And in the past couple of years, I've really sort of I started my aesthetics business and I told, you know, the owner that the only way I would come in and do aesthetics is if I could do aesthetics my way. I planned on leaving the business after my last job because I was like, I'm going to go into a spiritual store. I'm going to do energy healing. I'm going to do readings for people. Um, but I asked my spirit guides, I said, put me where you want me to be and I'll follow. So 
a few days later, I get a call about going back into a med spa and I said, the only way I'm staying in aesthetics is, is if I can do aesthetics my way. So when you come into my room, there's crystals, there's cards, there's tarot, there's sage. Um, anything a healer would need is inside my aesthetics room. So I've combined both of them to create this really amazing business for not just myself, but for my community. And I just threw up my fuck it flag a few years ago. I was like, I can't compartmentalize myself anymore. Like I cannot compartmentalize myself and be, you know, a pro wrestler when I'm at a pro wrestling show, um, a model when I'm at TV, uh, a, a healer when I'm at the metaphysical shop, a beauty expert when I'm at my spa job. Like I can't, I can't keep compartmentalizing myself. It's exhausting. So I was like, I'm going to put it all together and create one thing. And that's what I did. And it's been amazing. So that's what I see for a lot of you guys um, creating your own things now and creating the, something really special by combining like a lot of different shit. Like it's going to be awesome. Like the things that we create, the inventions that we create in the next couple of years. Um, okay. So let's pull one more sort of as homework, how to get you to that path of collaborative dreaming and stepping outside of the box. All right, sacred rebels. How do we do that? Okay, so new birth, guard it vigilantly. So here's where my cutting off of ties to people and the keeping things to myself comes into play. Okay, new birth, guard it vigilantly. So here's where my cutting off of people, places, things comes into. Uh, I have an Aries moon, so really easy for me. If things are not vibing, I'll just start ghosting. Um, not that that's necessarily like the best way. There are probably better ways to handle it, but I don't ever ghost anybody out of hate. I ghost out of love for myself. So let me preface by saying that, um, when you are birthing something new, sometimes it takes all of your energy, everything that you have within you. So it needs to be put in a special little place, a special little box, a special little, you know, place within you. And you don't need to be talking to everybody about it. You need to guard your ideas so that I want to say so that I, I don't want to, because I don't even like to talk like this, but I want to say that somebody doesn't like try to take what you're doing. Like I've actually had several people sort of try to emulate what I do, um, in my aesthetics room. And it just, honestly, it just can't be emulated. Like it can't. Um, but when you're birthing something new, it has to be protected. It's like when that newborn comes into, uh, comes into the earth side and it's so fragile and it has to be nurtured. It has to be fed and it has to be taken care of. That's you and your thing that you're trying to birth or bring to the earth side for yourself and for humanity. So it's like, you know, carrying around, uh, an egg all the time. Like you have to be careful with that egg. You have to pay attention to that egg. Plants are the same. Like you have to nurture that plant. You have to take care of that plant. Um, and by doing that, your thing in the world, your whatever it is, your gift to humanity will grow and it will prosper, but it has to be guarded. You have to take care of it. You have to save your energy so that you have the energy to take care of something else similar to having a child. Like I don't get to put near out into the world what I want to or what even what I used to because now I have a child that I've birthed and that I'm taking care of and that I'm helping to grow into himself on the earth plane. So that takes a lot of my energy. I don't have a ton. And then with my business, um, I don't have a ton of space left outside for that. So certain people, places, things just don't have the space for it anymore. So make sure that, you know, breath is life and it takes breath to speak. Okay. So my phone just got overheated. So I'm going to finish this up. Um, but just remember that whatever you're birthing into the world, 
needs to be guarded and it needs to be only shared with certain people and it needs to be um, sowed and seeded like a plant or taken care of like a child. And it really takes a lot of energy to do that. So save your energy for what you're trying to birth into the world and don't waste it on people, places, things that don't deserve um, your attention. So anyways, um, I will see you guys soon. Again, I do private sessions. So if anybody wants to schedule a Zoom session with me, I'll leave the information below and I will talk to you later. Happy full moon in Virgo.